Hello guys, Z Pelfrain here and welcome back. We're here in Kerbal Space Program and it's been a while. Uh, nothing's changed, I don't know if you saw. Let's go back for a second. If it loads, there we go. Oh, it doesn't actually show. I thought it did. We're, we're still on the same update, nothing new has happened. There is a new update on the way which should add a lot more interesting things. There's a whole new facility somewhere. I think it's there that they added in for basically finances. So they're adding all of that in. They're adding missions you can do and you get funding to do things. Something is loading right now and I'm not sure what it is. Okay. Anyway. It, it has been a while. Sorry, it's been a little iffy. It's been, well, like a month and a half. It's not that bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So, last time, if you remember, we had just, uh, we had just gone to the moon, kind of, sort of, in a terrible orbit that didn't really work all that well, and this thing died in orbit over the moon. But, we gained just enough science points to get some of these babies. So let's just take two of those, slap them on right there. Perfect. Um, I think we're saving these just to get a sample from on the moon. Besides that, there's really no other use for them anymore. Apparently our flag's reverted back. Do we have a, which one were we using? Which one were we using? I don't actually remember anymore. We were using a thing. Uh, remind me in the comments below if you remember. I can really just go back and look at the video, but I'm lazy, so we're not going to do that. I'll just let you guys remember. Why is that still okay? <sighs> this is going to be the Mark II. Now, let's take this and more boosters. Do we have any better rockets yet? We're using all the biggest ones on this, right? I don't know why I'm asking you, you can't respond right now. But if you could, you'd say that yes, these these are new. Oh, that's what we were gonna do, radial decouplers. Ha, ah, look at these beauties. And, I do have a new joystick that eventually I'll start using for these videos. Currently, I don't have it hooked up to use for this yet. Again, lazy and just work. But it is there, so we'll start using that at some point in the future. Hopefully before we start making planes. Sorry if you're hearing a lot of noise in the background. I'm just adjusting it's cold in here. I don't know why. It's like 90 degrees outside, but AC. The wonderful thing that it is. As I ramble on and none of you care. Right, okay. We have those decoupling. Yeah, we'll do the four decouple turn. That is the second, not second, center engine. All of that decouples. Then this engine goes. Then we decouple there. Then that engine. Then these things, if we really need them, which hopefully we won't, they didn't really do anything last time. So that's kind of sort of slow us down a little bit more, but not a whole lot. Ah, there's where the problem came. Because I... When I popped the capsule off, it popped the parachute out too. So we have that fixed. Let's make sure to save that before anything bad happens. It shouldn't. I have plenty of room on the hard drive. Double checked beforehand. I even made sure I wasn't running flux, so there's no orange color, in case you hadn't noticed that. It's all the proper colors it should be. The sky is blue, the clouds are white. The ship is dust. E. Soon to be dust. I'm planning on crashing. No. Maybe. Yes, kind of. No, we're not going to crash. Mr. Um, who's flying this? Uh, wrong button. Jebediah. He's going to be fine. Didn't we kill Jeb? 
I could have sworn we killed Jeb. Guys, are we launching zombie Jeb? All, all three of them are here. One of them is a zombie. Or a clone. I don't know which. Whatever. We'll, we'll fly zombie Jeb. Why not? Alright, I need to do that. I know how this game works. I've done this before. Let's make sure that saved. Yes, it did. Added some more parts, made it a little more complex. That was not the button I meant to hit. Now that we've ruined everything... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Allergy season and all that. Um, yeah, decouple, engine, de radial decouplers. It's not doing the light up thing anymore. There we go. Light up, light up. Doesn't light up there. Decouple there. That is, that is attached, right? This is still part of the rocket. Well, whatever. It's fine. Let's... I don't actually know if this is going to make it yet, but we'll, we'll just say it will. Those are on. We have the antenna. Or antennas. I don't actually know what the proper plural of antenna is. It'll be fine. Let's go. Let's do this. Now, I'm not entirely sure when I started the video. I forgot to check again. So, we probably won't make it all the way there, but we might because I, I talk a lot. I don't do a whole lot. I talk a lot. Why is the... There we go. Wrong mouse button. Can we see the moon? No, we still can't see the moon. Which is bad news for us because it's on the other side of the planet. Ish. Where's the moon? There's the moon. Direct opposite side of where we want to go. We kind of want it here-ish. So that it'll be here-ish. Later. But, whatever. We'll, we'll work with it. Throttle all the way up. There we go. No countdown today, we're just going for it. Oh, SAS, right. And here we go. We're taking off a little slower than we were before, but we're using one less engine. We got a tiny bit more weight, but not a whole lot. This should be more fuel efficient, however. Allowing us to hopefully actually make it to the moon on the fuel we have on board. Zombie Jeb's being pretty excited there, his usual self. You can see the first little bits of sunrise. Is that sunrise? Yeah, that's east. Sunrise is the east, right? I don't actually know how it is in Kerbin, but I think it rises on the east. Like it should. Soon we'll be able to see the moon coming over the horizon. Right behind that mountain there. Eventually. What height are we at? We're not there yet. And... Okay, we're starting to get there. Still don't see the moon. It's getting brighter out. At least over, over that way. And we've hit that point where we're going to tilt over. Slow, maybe not. Okay, running into some issues here, but that's fine. Okay, SAS, pop those off. Fire the rockets, or the rocket singular. We've almost made it to the next stage of orbit. <coughs> oh, sorry about that again. It's been, it's been one of those weeks. Uh, we're, we're. Rocking a little bit. Rocking in a rocket. All I can think of is Def Leppard songs now. Okay, um, this way is the direction we want to go. Yes, yes, okay. And that little thing on the nav ball down there just switched from, uh, something to orbit. So apparently we're in an orbit now. Who would have known? It's not like I can see space or anything. 
We're only 43 kilometers up, 44 kilometers up. We can like skydive from here, right? People have done it. I think we're going across the earth faster than daylight right now. Or not the earth. <laughs> the Kerbins. All four of them. Yeah. We're traveling faster than the earth is rot- <sighs> We're traveling faster than Kerbin is rotating right now. Thus why it has just disappeared below the horizon. That does look like a little tiny crescent of the moon. Which is probably kind of sort of blurred out by the... Should probably actually look where we're going, shouldn't I? Oh, we've just passed the the thing. Let's, let's point up a little more. So we can get up in orbit. Apoapsis, that's the word. I haven't played this game in too long, guys. We are going to establish an orbit in this thing. Because if we don't, that'll be a little weird. Because we've done it before in worse rockets. Are we actually facing straight up this time? We're just about facing the proper direction. We got this covered, guys. We're professionals at this. I don't even think we're going to make it to the moon. Oh, there we go. Hello. What altitude are we at right now? Not high enough. But that's high enough. That's maybe a little too high. Okay. Whatever. Let's leave the atmosphere. Try not to blow the ship up. I can't tell what I'm looking at here. It's just black. This is what Kerbin looks like from at night. As you can see, there's a whole lot of nothing. And then a little bit of something. With nothing on it. And that's our cue that we're in space. Which means we can switch from that to this. And actually watch as we... Warp ourselves through time. Because obviously the Kerbals have invented time travel. Jeb is actually a time lord, guys. That's why he can crash into the moon and die and then come back. Okay. So. Moon. Where are you? Moon? Of course it's right there. So it should be, this is probably actually going to work out perfectly. If we, from the apoapsis here, just give it everything we have, we can theoretically make it out to the moon. To a rendezvous with the moon. Oh, there's a little bit of a, a hiccup there. I haven't even had any Dr. Pepper today, guys. Or alcohol. I'm facing the wrong direction, and I'm spinning the long way around because I'm an idiot. Should have prepared this in advance. Just hope I'm never an astronaut, guys. I will definitely crash the ship. Possibly just because I think it'll look cool. Okay, let's throttle up a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Just get that periapsis out to where we have an intercept. It's now the apoapsis. Out where we have an intercept with the moon. Obviously with the little like squiggly thing over it or the dots or whatever. Whatever they do. I don't know what they do. I think it has the dots over it for moon. Like the word uber with the little dots over the u. That sort of thing. Apparently we're not going to make it on this stage. It's below that. We don't need it. It's going to be... What is this? Oh, look. Debris from our last mission. If we hit something from the last mission out here... Okay, let's... How do we do this, guys? Throttle up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that is a lot of juice. Okay. Rattle down. Let's do this slowly. Like the professionals we are. There we go. 
Let's see if we can... Nope, let's not actually make it any larger. That'll be fine. We might actually hit the moon. But it'll be fine. Alright. That's probably been a decent sized episode. I'm trying to keep my episodes a little shorter nowadays. Because for those of you who haven't noticed in the past couple videos, I've been uploading in a much higher quality. So obviously it takes longer to upload. Which makes me not want to upload full-length videos like the half-hour ones I've occasionally uploaded for this so they will generally be shorter on the channel now for that reason they'll be shorter and higher quality maybe not me but the videos I'll still be me I'll still have some issues with my my speeching skills I might just say speeching I didn't really mean to slur it that was yeah Again, one of those days. So, uh, if you liked the video, remember to actually hit that like button down in the... somewhere. Something's loading again. Maybe it's just because I'm spamming the mouse around. Remember to hit the like button. If you want to see more, remember to subscribe. If you would like to purchase Kerbal Space Program, there will be a link in the description. Uh, if you want to buy it, buy it through that link, because I may or may not make money off of that. Keep that in mind. It's probably incentive not to buy it, really. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.